name Ralph Schumacher profession F1 driver since the start of this season the Soul Schumacher brother in Formula One his team Toyota cars and speed have been in Ralph's blood from an early age Motorsport has always been a part of my life ever since I could think or in fact even before then as I first drove a go-kart when I was just two and a half. Sure I could already think then but not consciously at least. And this has shaped his life to this day. After go-karts came larger cars all the way up to joining Formula One in 1997. He recalls some early challenges in his motor racing life. So yes, I started with carts at two and a half or three, then the first club championships when I was four or five. Then I simply moved on up, joining Formula Junior one day because someone was ill and couldn't race, so I stepped in and came second in my first race. I got a lot of support then, and on it went. Formula 3, Formula 3000. Until today, and Formula 1. Motorsport was always a big part, and on mind at the Schumacher's family. But could he really have imagined as a boy making a great leap into Formula One? It certainly hadn't crossed my mind as an 18 or 19 year old as nobody would have thought it possible then. It was also a bit tougher for me as I was the younger one and nobody could imagine two brothers both getting into Formula One. That wasn't in the plans either. Rather my father initially had other ideas but then in the end it all in fact did work out. Since 2001, the 32-year-old is married to Cora, luckily with a son, David. Sometimes, of course, it's tough, but the good thing is that my son knows it's no other way than for me to be away a lot. He's grown up with it. While he's not happy when I go, he knows that's simply the way it is. He also takes an interest in motorsports, so it's not a problem. Clearly, it's not always been that easy for my wife. But, hey, she can see the end of the tunnel. I won't be doing this for 50 years, so that's not really a problem either. Ralph and Cora, undoubtedly one of the most glittering couples in Formula One. They get on extremely well, and whenever time allows, spend every minute together. If it's not the racetrack, then it's the ski slopes on which the German likes to play. Again, with a fair bit of speed, but all so different, with no engine noise and totally on his own. Sometimes it's playing the golf ball, but yet it's his job that gives him true satisfaction. It's certainly the case that I love my job and I like doing what I do, and that is motorsport, and so relaxation is also part and parcel of the job. His job is his calling, and so it includes also to a Formula One driver's job to be part of the public, to be touchable for the fans and the media. At present, Schumacher's calling and passion are certainly good attributes to drive Toyota further forwards this season. To him, perfect collaboration is the very essence of success. This team is simply, in short, really a team, one of the very few, at least out of the three I know. A true team where a great emphasis really is put on team spirit and cooperation, and where it's also great fun to work. It's got a really big company behind it that places great importance not only on short-term, but on long-term success too. And that, therefore, takes a very healthy long-term approach to the car's ongoing development. And it's also a whole backup team behind it who are really proper racing people that are great fun to work with. There are seven races left on the Formula One calendar. Seven races in which Toyota has the chance to find once again the secret of success and lay some solid foundations for the future.